I need to create some more shelving like this down in my basement for some food storage. And people have asked me how I go about this, so I'll just go ahead and create a video on this. It's actually really simple. It is heavier duty shelving. You can see that I use brackets on every stud. These brackets reach 70 pounds out to the end um, where I extend them further on some of the shelving. It obviously can't take the 70 pounds, but these can, for instance. And then anything that goes into the corner can take more weight. And that's where I tend to put the heaviest stuff when I need to join two pieces. I use a board like this and I'm gluing everything with uh, liquid nails. And basically I'm going to go create a couple of small shelves um, down in my basement. Not as heavy duty as these, but the same format basically. And I'll show you the way I go about that.
what I have here are some number eight sheet metal screws. Screws. I just use them because it, it's what lo looks best to me, uh, works best for me. They're five eighths of an inch long, so this is three quarter inch shelving. The five eighths just in, you know ensures I don't punch through it. And uh, whenever I put these brackets on, I push it up into the corner first, anchor those screws first because they these are not quite 90 degrees, they're a little less than that, so that by the time you push them in to the corner and sink them in, they're already putting pressure on the shelves. If they put them at 90 degrees, they wouldn't do that. So these are number eight, five eighths pan head screws. Again, they say sheet metal, but um, I've been using them for shelving a uh, long time. So what I'm gonna do is push this up here and put in my first screw. I'll do the same to the other side. And then I'll make sure I go ahead and anchor it first to the shelving up here before I come and do the outer edges. Don't over tighten them because you can't strip them out. I don't think I've done it yet, but. Okay. Then we'll do the outsides. And there's nothing's punched through on the top and it's really sturdied up that shelf. So Now if you didn't sandwich the top of this down like I did with a piece of hook strip there, when you were, if you push up this bracket into the center and you don't have this shelf anchored on very well, those nails can pull out a little bit. I've had that happen before. So it's just something to be aware of. Here's the shelving complete. I, this is why I uh, clipped these corners around them, is for these outer edges so people can't hit them and I think it uh, makes it look nicer. All of my edges I will knock off at a 45 degree angle, about halfway, about half the thickness of this, maybe a little more. I think that makes for a much nicer finish than um, what you usually see people doing. Um, this one, normally you don't see the nail holes because uh, they're behind this, but the actual stud is over here on the right, and I needed to put this smaller bracket over here so it fit. I guess I could have moved it to the right a little bit, but um, normally the nail holes are covered, as you would see here. So despite using a lot of nails, most of it's covered. Um, that's the exception, but um, I mean this is all it's for is storage, so I'm not too concerned about it. Now right now I have lightweight stuff on it like empty boxes and 72 hour type kits with different things in them. The glue has still got to dry um, before I put anything really heavy on it like if I were to put a water jug on it, 5 gallon water jug. Um, I would put those over here where there's a bracket all the way on this, this left side and then um, supports right here maybe one or two water jugs and then I would go lighter as I went this way since there's no outside support other than these brackets. Um, that's a, another reason for putting this MDF or the hook strip up on top. Um, it sandwiches this shelving top and bottom. I'm sh sandwiching it so that if the shelf were to get too much weight on it and try to tip away, um, one, it would have to pull out the nails, which it can do, but two, it has to push through this hook strip, which has been glued on and nailed on into the studs, and it won't do that. So. My kids climbing on shelving all the time shouldn't be a problem. So it's hard to give you an actual good shot of it because of the tight space that I'm in. But it makes good use of this space, which um, hasn't been doing anything else other than you know collecting boxes and a few things right here. Um, I have a much deeper shelving over here, and I want to replace most of these can rotators with 
a rotator that I'm going to build on the, ro the wall, which is a future project, maybe in a couple of weeks. And then we'll clear off most of these rotators, so we'll keep some of them. And then fill this with different food storage. And this goes down to the right, and then I have a bunch of boxes even stacked out a couple of rows because I didn't even have room on my shelves for this kind of stuff, so. Lots of shelving, but it seems like you can never have enough. One thing I wanted to mention about building these shelves is you'll notice that a lot of the time I'll extend the bottom rung into the next stud, um, depending on where the stud fell. Now, if the stud was like right in this range, I would just extend it to here. If the stud was right back here, I'd probably just extend it to the end of the shelf. Um, but when I when I'm close, I'll just extend it to the next stud as I did here because I want to be able to nail into it and get a good gripping point. Now you notice I didn't sandwich this one on the top because the force is going to be this way and um, it looks nicer not to have anything there if possible. Um, on the back I did I did put that but you'll notice that on the top I ran it just to the edge. Um, it is stapled into the nearest stud back here but this one's not holding the weight it's it's just keeping this from flipping up and coming out um, should it get too much weight and so shoot for aesthetics when you're working on the top the bottom um, you want to go for the strength now if I come in here to the existing shelving that I did a while back you notice how much further I extend here because of the studs now there is a stud there and there's a stud 16 inches off of that which is probably going to be right in this range and that's the reason for extending this out as far as I did. Otherwise, if I just did it to here, um, the only thing holding it against the wall would have been the glue, which may have held just fine, but I always like to put in some type of mechanical fastener if I can, um, in addition to the glue, just to make sure it's strong, especially when I knew I was going to put as much weight on this as I did. So you can see why, with all of this weight out towards this edge, why I sandwiched the top of these down so that there's no way it can flip and everything. Um, these are actually holding tons of weight, especially if you go into the corners. I put most of the weight there. There's uh, things like sugar and, uh, I don't know, many, many, many pounds of weight, hundreds of pounds of weight on those shelves. And then I have, have a bracket on every single stud because I knew I was going to be putting a lot of weight on these. So that's just one thing to keep in mind. Shoot for aesthetics, but also shoot for the uh, strength. And you can get something that looks nice.